Go ahead, you can talk. And that's a bit of a blooper for you there, guys. Hey, what's going on? It is darker than dark can be. So let me just turn on a light. What the hell, dude? Ha ha, as they say, let there be light. <gasps> an ugly bastard yes i am hey guys welcome back to another project yag tiger update uh where does one begin i'm pretty sure you guys have seen some of uh, grim's uh i'm pretty sure you've seen some of grim's updates on uh, yes i know i've shaved and my hair's grown back um i'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen grim's uh updates on facebook where he's got his Ryzen parts in he's already got the rig damn near built you know he didn't wait for me he didn't want to wait for me he just wanted to build it so unfortunately i couldn't bring you any content on how to build a Ryzen rig uh however <sighs> bit of good news from for me though uh which is uh i've got my uh, eight core i've got my motherboard i've got my ram i've got my uh uh, a makeshift encoding rig back this was my gaming rig as you guys know but unfortunately for some reason my capture card and my uh, encoding rig uh, my old encoding rig kind of had a bit of a, a, a tiff and it didn't want to work anymore but it does seem to want to work with my AMD so I've now swapped them um, my old encoding rig is now my gaming rig and my gaming rig is now my encoding rig they've literally swapped places um, so what I've gone ahead and done is I have modified the case uh, there will be b-roll footage somewhere probably here of me uh, using an axle grinder one of my my automotive tools uh, to the case cutting some channels into it so that we can actually put the panels on because one of the problems with this case was um, there was like zero design for, for cable management whatsoever and so I've been watching a lot of Bitwit and Paul's Hardware and Jay's Two Cents and, and the rest of the gang about cable management so I'm going to move this real quick and so what I've done is I'm going to lock it here and just turn it for you what I've gone ahead and done let me get rid of this the optical drive is I have put the side panels on these are on on they're screwed in they're not going anywhere um, but at the same time I've designed uh, again I went with the namesake of the project which is project Yag Tiger um, I'm at the stage where I need to get some more parts in but I need to fire up the rig and get everything hooked back up so I can start live streaming again because this is still my live streaming rig I don't have a replacement for this yet um, so what I've gone ahead and done is um, now unfortunately this motherboard has its 2x slot uh, the, the the miniature PCI Express slot underneath the graphics card so I can't use my old graphics card this one because it's a double card so what I did was I used my old single slot card as you can see, the 2X on the gear is up here, so you know you've got room to use a double card. Well, they're swapped on this board, which means this one's down here and this one is up here. So if I use the graphics card uh, I want to use, which is going to be my 1060, I can't use the capture card. So, dilemma, dilemma, I know. Um, so what I've decided to do is two extra cores, you know, a whole bunch more memory cache, a whole bunch of other things. I do have my SSD hidden. I do have my um, fan speed controller hidden. Unfortunately, the large uh, drive is over there, hooked up to this machine. I was grabbing my images and whatnot from it. And so I do have that to deal with. I've also got to deal with the fact that I've now got to take my third monitor, which is off screen here, by my, by my head, and put it back to the encoding rig, which means my gaming rig will be now back down to two screens. Um, what I would like to do is flat out take my gaming rig and just push it down to one screen, one big screen, like a 32 inch screen, something like that. Something I can just pop out some 4K footage, you know, um, and take these two monitors, this one and this one and associate them to the uh, encoding rig. Now, this also means that the uh, encoding rig is now being regulated to my um, 
video rendering rig. And unfortunately, I have to only render on CPU. I can't render on GPU because this GPU inside is a freaking joke. Like a 4600, it's, it's nothing. Again, it's only in there, in all honesty, so that I can actually hook up a graphics card because I'm not using the onboard video. No way am I using the onboard video. Yes, I know the RAM is mismatched, but you know what? It's 12 gigs. It works. The, the, the timings and everything else matches. And if need be, I will go buy another set of the uh, KL... Ava, uh, the, um, the KL the KL Evo RAM, which is the blue RAM here. I'll buy some more of that and just pop out the uh, rip jaw. Because that's what I was using, is this rip jaw stuff. Um, it's only two gig sticks. It was part of a triple channel kit that was originally in the encoding mixer. It's not even rip jaw X, it's just rip jaw. The other stuff in there is Rip Your, Rip Your X. But there we go, guys. Just together. I'm about to uh, live unplug the monitor and some other things and plug in another keyboard and another mouse and see if she will fire up. If she does, I will be transferring my. Um, the computer and whatnot. I'll be moving the monitors over to here and regulating this table just for uh, encoding and stuff like that so look forward to seeing that guys a new uh, miniature facelift if you will of the uh, entire office so uh, yeah with uh, anything else left to talk about no not really uh, other than um, I've got it together and the next update video you'll probably see some screen actual hard screen footage of the encoding rigs screens and stuff so yeah that's where we're at um, I will be taking some turpentine and some uh, mineral spirits to the case to strip its clear coat and uh, then take some wire wool and uh, just wire wool it right down at the bare metal hit with some new primer then hit it with the uh, paint the paint scheme I want to hit, then I'll be putting in the, the clear plastic window, the clear plexi window that I want. And uh, we will be going from there, guys. So uh, look forward to seeing Project Yak Tiger update. I think this is update six or seven. I've got a whole bunch of videos saved on my hard drive. I've got to upload them. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I will see you all in the next video, guys. Until then, I'll see you then.